Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sastrikal. Welcome back to another session with your Vashaf at Vareva.com. Today I am going to show you one of the speciality Andhra Pradesh breakfast that is Pesaratu. We call it Pesaratu because green moong, we call it Pesallu. And uh, the dosa kind of thing what we make with it is Pesaratu. To make this Pesaratu, first we need to soak one cup of uh, moong dal whole that is with the skin and half a cup of rice. You can reduce or increase the amount of rice you need to add based on the consistency you want. If you want a crispy Pesaratu, you can increase the amount of rice we add. Soak it at least for 6 hours. I usually soak it overnight. After that, put this rice and uh, moong dal into a blender. When you are blending this uh, moong dal and rice, make sure you add uh, 2 pieces of uh, green chilli, little bit of cumin seeds and ginger. But if you want your pesaret to be, to be soft, add a piece of onion too. When you make this uh, paste, make sure you make it uh, a little bit finer, not too coarse. And uh, here is the batter. See, because there is a skin uh, on the lentil, when you make a paste, it will automatically aerate. And uh, that is the reason why pesaret too doesn't need any fermentation. This non-fermented dough makes excellent uh, pesaratus. But if you want dark brown color, you can let it ferment for one or two hours. But you don't need to ferment it a lot. In the hotels, when we make pesaratu, we use a cup to make pesaratu. Especially we use a steel one. Here I've got a glass one. But uh, just uh, pour the batter and then spread the pesaratu just as you do any dosai. And then add oil. You know, if you're using a non-stick, you don't need to add much oil. And we also use a technique of uh, just uh, we clean the uh, any if there is any thick lumps, we just uh, use a spoon and just uh, even it out so that your pesaratu comes evenly cooked. Even when the pesaratu is still wet, not fully done, that's when you add a little bit of uh, chopped green chilli, chopped ginger and a chopped onion, coriander. You can actually mix all these ingredients and keep and then you can sprinkle at one time. Restaurants give a name to a lot of dishes. Even this Pesaratu has become very popular with another name which we call it MLA Pesaratu or Chairman Pesaratu in which we add uh, upma and then serve the Pesaratu with it. So here I've got uh, upma here, just uh, put Upma in this and then uh, we will Pesaratu, okay. here is your Pesaratu. Yeah. Traditionally we serve uh, Pesaratu with uh, ginger chutney that is Allam chutney and then with coconut chutney. Here I have got a sweet ginger chutney which I am going to show in the next few sessions and also I have got coconut chutney. And, uh, oh. Aha. You know, this is um, any Andrite. If you give this Allam chutney and this Pesaratu, they will go bonkers. Hmm. What a Pesaratu. And then with the Upma inside. Wow. Hmm. So dear friends, I hope you have enjoyed today's session with your washef at vareva.com. But remember, vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes at uh, vareva.com so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you. Friends, 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 friends.